I'm going to do is I'm just going to prick your finger with a little lancet and, and ah. just get a tiny bit of blood. Just a few drops is all we need. Apparently we can't tell the blood type without actually ah, yeah, yeah, the yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Here we go. Oh, I hate that. Oh, it wasn't as bad. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, so what are you doing now? So now I'm just taking these few drops of blood, sprawling yep. them out, and I'm going to put them down on one of our cards so that we can then put on some anti-serum, which is pretty much just a chemical that helps us determine what blood type you are. I'm surprised my blood wasn't blue. No, no, I'm yet to find some blue blood. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is now to find out what my blood type is, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm just I'm mixing these anti serums together. So there's eight different blood groups, so you'll be definitely one of those so there's the a you, you've got a a b o and b blood types and then you've got those negative and positive so depending on the combination that we mix here depends on which one you are so how many blood donors is the blood bank looking for in an average week average week we need about 3,400 donations every week to keep our hospitals stocked with enough blood and blood products so it's actually quite a lot yeah, does, and when, when I give a donation how much am I giving of, 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 you, you of the donate, every time you donate, every person in New Zealand gives 470 mils. And what percentage of that blood in my body is that? Uh, it's You've got about six, the average person's got about six or seven litres, depending on the size of the person. Okay, so it's, it's, it's not much? No, no, it's not much. And you regenerate your blood. It okay. takes a few weeks. So based on this combination, you are one of our most popular blood groups in New Zealand. Yes! Actually, you are the most popular blood group in New Zealand, O positive. However... What that means is you're also one of the most used blood types in New Zealand. So most of the patients at the hospital will be the same blood type, so it's one that's in high demand. So we would love to see you donating, Gary, <laughs> as long as you meet the other criteria. Okay, so what sorts of things are you looking for when you talk about criteria? So the criteria, um, as long as you're over 16 years of age, under 65 for your first time donation, uh, you weigh over 50 kgs, you're relatively fit and healthy. Trust me, I weigh over 50 you're kgs. Over 50 kgs, that's great. No tattoos or piercings in the last six months. No, not in the last six months. No, um, if you've recently travelled, it also pays to check out, check out our travel tool online, um, just with the, obviously Zika and the other viruses that are hanging around the world there. We want to make sure we keep our blood supply as as safe as possible. Just in case my mother-in-law is listening, that was a joke about no tattoos in the last six months. Margaret, I don't have any tattoos or piercings. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, you can jump online to our website, um, www.nzblood.co.nz, and we have a fantastic quiz that goes through the other criteria. Certain medications are okay, um, so it all depends on what medication you're on. You can also call us on 0800 448 325 and ask to speak to one of our nurses who can go through it with you.